All right, Pump Snap 2.0. Uh, everything's mechanically fastened with the handle, the trigger, uh, stock, plunger, everything pretty much, except for there's uh, the bushing. It's like goop, super glued, and epoxy putties around it. I'll go over that later. I'll uh, start out back to front. See, there's a stock here, one and a quarter inch PVC T with like plugs or something in the end. They're just on there just because. I want to have like where you, or I, what I want to do in the future is cut the stock about there and add an end cap right here. I just had to find end caps locally. So, yeah. So, here's the slots. They're really clean. Like, they're done really nice. This is just, like, small chips. Because uh, when I did this with the cutting disc on the Dremel, like, the little nut thing at the top did that, and I'm kind of mad about that. But it's okay. And, yeah, so the plunger rod. Uh, well, first there's a string stop, so the plunger rod doesn't smack into the bushing. So it kind of keeps the long activity of the blaster. And it's also a little bit safe with the dry fire. Yeah, so the string stop connects there to the end cap on the end of the plunger rod, which is also uh, fastened by screw into the plunger rod, so it's not glued in at all. And then the plunger rod is the slotted CPVC. Let me prime the gun to show you it. I'm priming with the screwdriver so I don't have to put the bolt in so I can do this. Review, I guess. So there's a plunger rod. Uh, yeah, it's slotted. It's the cuts are also really nice on it. Total, there's like seven and a quarter, and or six and three quarters, a draw or seven. I think it's like a teeny bit under seven inches. And then, yeah, the spring rest is held in by. The three quarter inch end cap with the screw, three screws there, there, and there. And then the screws on the handle are also holding it in, the back two. And then with the handle, I glued, or not glued, I, well, it's a piece of wood, uh, like poplar wood or poplar. Uh, the dimensions, I forget. I think it's one inch by like half inch, or three quarter of an inch wide and there's a screw here so when I pull the trigger one second or I'll do the seal real quick actually this is just a single barrel uh, here's the seal it's doing that because I think there's a rip in the washer not not a rip but like a fold which of those of you built snaps you know what I'm talking about, how the washer kind of folds. That's why I did that, otherwise it would be perfect. Because it was like that in the past. But, um, yeah, so the screw keeps the trigger from coming all the way out. And then, yeah, so the handle's screwed onto this part of a one and a quarter inch hand cap, and, or no, coupler. Yeah, and then I also sanded out the inner ridge of the coupler so it fits on the one and, one and a quarter inch PVC without, well, nicely, because there's no ridge. Yeah, so there's four screws holding that in. The trigger, it's a really nice trigger. It's a plastic clothespin filled with epoxy putty after it was cut at the end. Yeah, it's filled with epoxy putty, so it's basically just rock hard. And then what you're seeing here is a roofing nail that, if you don't know how snaps work, when you pull the plunger rod back, there's two metal washers with a ramp behind the metal washer. So when the plunger rod moves back along with the plunger head, the screw, which is beveled at the end, which is not sharp, uh, 
it'll come back, and when I prime the gun later, you'll see it go down like this, and then come back up. And when it's in that up position, it's in front of the, one of the metal washers, so the plunger rod will stay back, along with the spring and plunger rod. Um, yeah, and that's how it catches. It's pretty strong. Like, if you never built a snap before, it's stronger than you think it would be. And then, yeah, the close pin, you can see how the angle bracket is fastened on with this screw. And then, yeah. And then the zip tie is just for, like, stability of the close pin. Yeah, and the movement is really smooth and fine and the trigger itself is really clean the close one uh, yeah one second and then keep going forward is the bushing the bushing is the regular bushing I think it's one inch to a half inch and when I bought mine, it was like an octagon shape on the front, so I had to sand that to fit inside the one and quarter PVC. So I did that, and um, I did my gluing method. Well, first you have to wrap the thing in tape. I use packing tape, because I think it's the best, because it's thin, and you can get a really good, uh, like a really good amount of friction inside the uh, PVC when you glue it in. So I use super glue because I didn't have goop when I did this. And I did this a while ago during like last winter over my winter break. And then this here is epoxy putty. Which how I did that I like rolled it up into like or I put the epoxy putty in between my hands and just went like this. Sort of like what you do to play doh to make a snake. I put that on there and then trimmed there and there. And then I uh, got my hopper. I st while the epoxy body was still uh, wet, it's not wet though, just not cured. I put my hopper in there, all the way, so the epoxy body like would allow it to go in, like it, it's fit basically to the hopper, and it also makes the hopper stay in there better, like it's. There's more friction, so it's not going to fall out, or has less of a chance falling out. And yeah, and then at the top, I also put epoxy putty for seal and for stability. So the thing's airtight, and it's also smooth. Like, if this was painted, you would think that it was one piece. Like, you can tell that there's, like, two pieces that were connected. Like, it's so smooth, and it's rounded perfectly. But... As you can tell, the PVC itself is rounded, and that's for strength. Because when you cut this, it's a half pipe right here. If if I were to crank this downwards, it would have more of a chance breaking if this was at an 90 degree angle to cut. But it's not. Uh, it's curved, so it's stronger. Same thing with the pump slide, but I'll show that later. And then what you're seeing here is epoxy putty. Um, what I did to hold the bushing in with these screws, ah, it's, I think it's too dark to see. Well, anyway, there's four screws in there. One, two, three, four. And, um, you drill, like, a cone-shaped hole. It's called countersinking. Look up Nerfomania's write-up on this under Evolution. By the way, this is the Pump Snap 2.0, which means everything's mechanically fast, and there's more draw compared to the first Pump Snap, uh, build that the Nerfomania posted about, posted about, but yeah, anyway, so you drill the hole, you add a screw, fill epoxy putty on top, or JB Weld or something, and you sand it down, that's why they're circular and perfect, so yeah, I'll show the pump slide, now, my pump slide has a foregrip in the front, uh, inside of the Maverick slide, because I wanted this to be all homemade and not have a machine part from Hasbro on it. And because I I thought I would like the foregrip more, which I I think I would. And compared to the Maverick slide. And yeah, see the cuts are here, they're curved there and here. As well as that when it slides into the clothespin, pin, that's curved too. 
Like, right here, where the clothespin would be. That's why that's there, but yeah, this is curved. This is curved. And this is curved. So, it's like impossible. You can't thrust it downwards to break it. And yeah, so this is a one and a quarter inch T with the ridge sanded out, just like the cup wear on the, for the handle. So it fits this good. And this is one and a half inch thin wall PVC. And this is one and a quarter T. But they can still go together. Like if you had the one and a quarter inch T, you cannot connect it. If you had two connecting pieces of one and a half inch thin wall. But since I cut it down, it I can bolt it to the one and a, quarter, one and a half inch thin wall. Which I got this one and a half inch thin wall at a tractor supply store. Which is the name of the store. Tractor Supply. They don't actually supply just tractors. Well, they do, but it's just the name of the store. In case you were wondering. And yeah, so it's bolted on here with a bolt in the front and three in the back. And what I did, the bolt in the front and the middle one in the back, it's from something called like a erector set, which is like a toy set with metal bars and screws and stuff that you can build things with. Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. But this is one of the nuts and bolts from it. And with the bolt sticking up, when I put it on the body of the pump snap, there's like a perfect amount of friction to where I can have the pump snap or the pump slide in any position and it won't move unless I really Yeah, it still won't move. It won't move but if you move it by hand it's still really smooth, but it won't fall off unless I really try. So yeah, I, I um like that, and I'll show you. Or let me show you this. By the way, in the background, that's the TV. So that's what it looks like with the bolt or with the nut down there. And then, yeah, there's also the three bolts in the back holding on the T. And then there's just a stub of one and a quarter inch PVC etching its grip. And because I was reviewing this, I don't have the bolt in the back, which you normally would. So I'm just going to use a screwdriver to act as if it was a bolt. And then I'll shoot it now.